Hi, itching on the skin is a very common issue that all of us may have faced but when this is persistent and the skin starts becoming red and rashes appear then it is time to watch out. It could be a sign of atopic dermatitis. The major symptom to recognize atopic dermatitis is itch. In children and infants, red rashes majorly appear on the face, inner arms, back of the neck and skin behind the knees. Adults may experience eczemas as well. Excessive drying of skin or darkening of the skin around the eyes and neck area is another major symptom in patients with atopic dermatitis. Adults may also have symptoms of skin allergy and seasonal asthmas. Genetics play an important role in atopic dermatitis. People who have family history of atopy have more chances of developing it. The natural moisturizing factor in the skin is compromised in atopic dermatitis which is responsible for maintaining the barrier of the skin and this is commonly known as the barrier defect. In this condition, the skin tends to lose water and compromised barrier allows the entry of bacteria and irritants into the skin. The triggering factors include wool products, sweating, food rich in proteins like cow's milk, egg, peanut, fish, nuts and also kiwi and wheat flour. Flares may also be associated with seasonal changes, stress, activities and uh, throat infections or any other infection. The goal of treatment in atopic dermatitis is to decrease the symptoms of itch and make people more comfortable. This can be done using ceramide based creams which effectively lock in moisture and reduce the symptoms. These days steroid free topical immunomodulators are also used. Clothing should uh, be soft next to the skin, cotton is comfortable and can be layered in the winters, wool products should be avoided. Cool temperatures, particularly in the night, are helpful because sweating causes irritation and itch. A humidifier or cool mist prevents excessive drying and should be used in both winters when the heating dries up the atmosphere and in the summers when air conditioning absorbs the moisture from the air. Clothes should be washed in mild detergent with no bleach or fabric softener. Probiotics have been recommended as a therapeutic option for the treatment of atopic dermatitis and the rationale for their use is that bacterial products may induce an immune response and therefore inhibit the development of allergic IgE antibody production. A child who suffers from atopic eczema can swim but chlorine and salt may irritate his skin. After swimming, the child should rinse off dry without rubbing and apply moisturizing cream to the entire body. Children can play sports, however, sweat causes scratching. Animals with fur or hair should not sleep in the child's bed. The house must be vacuumed at least twice a week. Moisturization is the best solution for disease management. It is highly advisable to use ceramide containing moisturizers and use them liberally immediately after shower and bath. Do not use harsh soaps and cleansers as they can strip the natural oils from the skin. Use paraben and perfume free mild cleansers. Do shower daily at least 10 minutes in lukewarm water followed by application of moisturizers. Always take expert opinion if the symptoms persist. Hope the video was informative. Do like and share our videos to spread awareness.